Welcome, friends and gentle bros, mortals and Gujis alike, to another episode of A Battle of Brothers. I need to turn up my game on my microphone a little bit. There we go. Yeah, better, better. Hear words. All right. Let's load it up. I don't think it's a long episode today. I'm too busy trying to queue all my uploads for the for the next like three, four days. So I may only I'm sure record one. Oh. Alright, we were doing a contract last time. Secure the burial site. You eye a tombstone with a mound of soil on earth at its base. Lots of blood, of mud, lead away like a crumb trail. There are no shovels, no men. When you follow the lead, you come across a band of undead, moaning and groaning, and now staring at you with insatiable hunger. You can't make out who you'll be facing. Attack at own peril, prepare to retreat if need be. Alright. Okay. Sure thing. Twenty-five. Yep. Well, let's do the game of uh, retreat. Let's wait, everybody. We're gonna be waiting. God, I just changed, I was like, my lineup looks weird. And I was like, it's because I just got a new guy, Mr. Robaud, who's going to be our banner carrier. Right, let's, everybody wait. I just changed my stabs around and everything as well. Undead, where I actually get to have my guys go first. Oh, a bard all in swapping and throwing axes. They'll come in big handy in this fight. I wonder if there are any ghosts this fight, though. That's gonna be the fun part. I know that. I hope that didn't make a lot of noise. It's playing some ghosts and being like, fuck. No. <laughs> I think we'll just record one. Give it an easy 40 minute episode. Oh, and then uh, call that it for today. I see a helmet that would be nice to have in the north there. Kettle helm. Hmm. I should have fallen back in hindsight and get throwing weapons to a lot of people in the front so they could have thrown weapons at them, but that's okay. And turn. You as well. You as well. Do you have someone have throwing weapons? You do not. Okay. You have thrown weapons. Yes, you do. So you need me throwing spears. I have to wait till next turn, though. doesn't have any, no, 
Robin's helmet by itself looks very like I don't know, spooky. I get the bard all who's near the last. Bard all. Oh, bard all. Can't even throw one. Alright. It looks like it's just undead. So we're just gonna hit space bar for a lot of people. For a lot of people. For pretty much everyone, because I want to wait for them to get closer. Um, because when they're closer, we get a better shot at everybody involved. So, we will be very tired. This is, a li I probably should be spreading out. Should have thought about this a little bit more. Probably should have been backing up. That's 25. Ah. It will turn into a game of endurance. Most definitely. It will definitely turn into a game of endurance. So many. Well, I guess we could. No, I think this is the best option we got. We could fall back here. I just want to know if people rotation, unfortunately, to rotate in and out. I think this is still the best option. We just have them blob up. They are going to eventually fold in around us, probably, which is less than ideal, but we'll be okay. How much is the premonition giving us? then I can land a hit. But we're going to gain 12, 15 just moving out to there. I really think it's just better off having people wait. You are... Herschel, you're going to be in a really tough spot once this blank collapses over here. Like You're going to be in a really tough position. I kind of want to move you back and hope that the warden moves up. I'm going to do that. Alright. Yeah, good throws. Yep, yeah, everyone steady up. Save the energy. We're gonna need a lot of it. Oh, okay. End turn. Everyone else. The only scary thing about Undead is they get more chance to hit the more of them there are. 
like stacked up on you. The undead. The zombies. The zombies. Party also wants us to throw Halstein into the middle and just have him just do round swing. But he doesn't have enough yet. I, if I'm gonna do that, I need to get him a perk like underdog. Yeah. Like that, and then maybe lone wolf. Should have been spear walling. Well, the space bar it is. It's, I don't think it works over here though. I'm gonna try it, but I don't think it actually works. How many arrows do you got left? Bolt, seven, okay, that should be fine. They might have to swap into melee, but okay, did not move there. Well, you're my other spear person, so. If I were to swap you to it. Four, 4 AP. Do we have enough? We do. Alright. And then you throw. Oh, I should have had her wait. In hindsight, that's okay. It's okay. You're gonna wait. Oh, he, that was redundant. We got him there, he's sneaking his here, here, and here. Uh, oh well, at least we'll find out if it doesn't work that as well. Yeah, they don't want to move in then. There we go. Good hit Bardo. I think he has, it has to be like point blank range for that to work. Master, I'm gonna have you wait. This next turn, they are gonna be within our, our, her. Honestly, Virgie, we need to get you over here, I think. It's probably for the best. Like, I think I'm going to have to trust them on the hold in the center. And then, well, if anyone that enters here, you'll knock them away. Both of them that I shot down did not do back up, which surprised me. We'll see. 
battle is still young. I'm telling you though, once we get Halsey to uh, Berserk, which I actually think is going to use the next one, I know I'm like, oh, I should get a Lone Wolf and other dog, but now Berserk I think is the better option. Here they come. Yep. Figured as much. We'll be fine though. We'll be fine. They all just didn't cluster up over here. one I won't get back up. Because if they can keep the people in the middle fresh, we have a way better chance. <laughs> the next hit does an extra 40% damage. You're walled up. It's fatiguing, but I think it's the best option. Alright, that's the last jab one. Back to staff hits. It doesn't let you double strike with um, spear wall, it looks like. That's, you know, it's kind of fair. I hope things considered it's kind of fair. So many things you can do. It's kind of crazy. My sir. My sir. I'm gonna need you to wait. 
Um, we're gonna wait. Wait. Um, wait. Good hits. I'm doing pretty good. Oh, good. I forgot you had the knockout primed. Make it harder for them to push the front. I should have moved her here in the first place. I was just like, I don't know if I want her to commit to the to the front. Good hit. Those pitchforks can hit from two tiles, that's why I'm like, I should start shooting. I want them pitchforks to be a nuisance. work decapitating. A lot's work. Oh my gosh, it's so helpful. Barlow's gonna be too tired next turn, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have you wait, Bardal. As I close in. I didn't go into Guji. I think now we're at the point where we're going to start pushing out. Got five bolts left. Betcha. 
more than some people. There's gonna be oh, there's so many that got up. It's very less than I do. The decapitation is always good. I only got the last two shots here. Ugh. Oh, good with decap too. I'll see you are making all our lives better. Two down. Alright. Where do you wait, Ramon? Yeah. Let's see. Enter this gap. Oh, wrong person. Please, thank you. Alright. Shield wall. Start breaking the line a little. I'm going to steam out. And I'll move Rob on here.
Tom Bartle. Next turn. Resume throwing. Damn it. Yeah, we've we've beaten them at this point. If we don't finish them this turn, I'll be surprised. Good job, Mr. Banacare. Improve the morale. They have like durable chest armor. Okay, a lot of hits. Alright. They go barn all you can throw an axe in the next. Good hit. And you have your archer running around with their dagger out. Being like, ooh, look at me. <laughs> that was actually very, a very good fight, guys. I did not think it was going to go as smooth as it did. Uh, um, we're probably going to end it year after. Uh, well, not finishing this turn. It's okay. A lot less of them are coming back. Please do not kill our people. Let my people go. Let us leave. I thought we were going to get way more exhausted too. I find like as long as you're good at managing people's exhaustion and you are skirmishing the undead, they're not as scary just have a couple spears in your line you can really manage the fight because you keep them off the main line for a lot longer so then because otherwise that whole blob I would have coalesced onto the front and then wrapped around and made my back line much more nervous and a lot more exposed and everyone would have gotten way more tired because they would have been thwacking them all down for several turns they'd keep getting back up It'd be hard to reinforce the back line because I'm like, can I commit them from the front now if they kill the two in front of them, or are those going to come back up and then chew my archer from the other side now? It became uh, entertaining to say the least, I guess. I'm just going to have you wait. Bartle, you're out of axes, and that's okay. I'm turned back to your spear. I'm just going to wait. There we go. Thank you, Sigma. Outnumbered, but never outclassed. That's the Achievo. You heard it here first, folks. Sigma got a level. She got four kills in that fight. I should have been like looking at these stats for everyone a little bit more. Just to see who's getting like doing a lot of damage. And who I should probably use more. Like Robard, our like our new guy, literally got four kills. But to be fair, he's wielding like a pole arm, which does damage, decent damage. Oh man. Halstey did a shit ton as well. Five kills, man. I feel like all of his were like one hits. Like not one of his foes that he hit did like get studs there afterwards. He was just down, down, down. I don't think anyone no one took damage. No damage. Textbook. 
Harvnin, 420, baby. <laughs> Robin, 69. <laughs> uh, Lupo didn't do that much. To be fair, though, he was, like, in the spear line, I think. And he was slower than Robin, so, like, Robin was just downing people a lot. I don't know. The turned out pretty good. Um, hey, we got the kettle helmet, guys. That's awesome, actually. And then a bunch of things I can break down. A little bit of gold. I think we'll end it here, and then maybe next time you'll see us. Uh, we'll upgrade the crew, if I remember. I'll do it before we go. How about that? So if you want to cut out now, because you don't enjoy watching me upgrade things. Uh, Frontar the of Dinstar listens to your report, and then slowly leans back into his chair. There's been a lot of rumors concerning those things, the dead walking about. He stares at his desk, then he looks at you. Nonsense. I won't believe it. You'll get... 1250 crowns as we agreed upon. You will not squeeze any more out of me with these lies. You really should have brought a head or two, but then again, a dead head looks remarkably similar to an undead head. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, we also need tools, folks. We are. We need the tools. You're not gonna keep it. I just want to take the helmet off. Alright. I might give you the full Anakin cap, though. Um. Yeah, you deserve that, at the very least. Um. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Find the whole 160. Damn, it's so good. <laughs> How does the camera helmet look in the oh, dog? Looks weird. Rather that. Um. One fifteen. Two hundred. This is two vision. It was one. For one encumbrance and difference, you find so much more armor. That's crazy. Absolutely maddening. But yeah, we'll give it to Guji. Guji's been around for a long time. Slight improvement. I'll take it. Can't imagine. Oh, now I'm curious. How does the kettle helm look with the. Um, not the kettle, not that. That looks fine. The, 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 the flat suit. The flat suit. It's, it's a little strange. The mod did some work, but some of the things still clip kind of weird. Um, I'm going to give you this, though. This will go to uh, the whole front has it. I guess it's gonna go to you. I will probably take it off of you when I get someone that has. Oh. Well, actually, hang on. Is that a trade? Oh. Well, yeah. I should give him the. the Anik. I could have just. Yeah, I'm dumb. There we go. Oops. 
do that. Which is, I don't think you'll need as much. Five extra, who knows? Lucky hit to the head can always be a big downer. Yeah, I have a lot of things I can break apart. I need to start doing that because I'm not even for his building up a little, a little big. Anyway, let's upgrade people real fast. We got two people upgrade, and then we'll call it. So Vala, you're on to here. Create a room sigil at a faster rate. That's a trance. Does she have any chance? There's a chance. Let's, let's get that, so we can start buffing the rest of our crew. Um, because flapping is nice, but, um, but it'd be better, I think, instead of having her just flap to start, uh, doing other things. And then we can get to that next. Alright, now let's give her... I mean, yeah, we'll give you the... I mean, like, skill. That's fine. Health. No. I don't know. Melee skill is fine. Bring the 50. Are you gonna resolve? And yes, the hit points. Because she eventually can make small sacrifices for certain things, so having a little bigger pool will be better. And I'm sure she'll give her Colossus as well. Alright. Um Sydney, Sydney, Sydney. Here, bring me 61 melee skill. Give you some resolve. And honestly, Signy, I'm thinking about it. Signy, yeah. In case you have to throw Jaggies, now you'll have 50. Just kind of huge. Alright, and then we can give you a rank in here. Plus nine fatigue. Oh, yeah, that's actually amazing. Her staff use is going to become better and better. Well, this widow has earned her place so heavily in this company. With 23 kills.
to rip apart, dude. Still may rip apart. Alright, well, that being said, I think we will see, I'll see you all next time. You guys have a good one.